hi guys welcome back it's monday so happy monday i have like a pretty good week coming i'm working wednesday night friday day and saturday night so i think i'm gonna use today as a home admin day i have a lot of cooking and cleaning to do today tomorrow is gonna be like a computer day i have some videos that i want to film as well as some work i need to get done on my computer and then wednesday and thursday we're keeping the girls home thursday it's a holiday but there's a church activity so we're gonna go to that and then i'm working on friday so i'll probably end the vlog here because you know there's nothing i can vlog while at work <laughs> that gets dirty the most often because it's what's used the most these are where i keep the kids toys we have been overflowing with books so i usually keep the kids books in this basket here but it's been overflowing and i feel like a lot of the books get lost because it's all dumped inside of here so i got this bookshelf which i'm so proud of myself because I have been having my eye on it and it was like 36 US dollars on Amazon but then it went on sale and then it was like 26, 27 and then I was able to get a coupon for $10 so I actually paid half off like 17 US so I am so excited for that but I think I'm going to set it up in the kids room I also bought a nice little circular fluffy rug so I can make like a little reading nook in the room i'm very excited about that the rug hasn't arrived yet but i think i'm gonna set this up so i can declutter some of the books here I'm very happy with it I feel like obviously you can't put like a million books in there so now I guess I can display some of the books here so they can see it it's, it's cute this is our linen closet it is a mess it is a horrible mess i have not let it get like that in a little while so i need to do some organizing because just seeing it like this is driving me crazy i forgot about this so i got some beautiful prints a print of cuba and then i have one of saint lucia that i completely forgot about so i'm gonna put these out so i can order a frame for them and instead of having them collecting dust in this place i should probably get a frame so i can 
put them up. My very first pregnancy test. I also have like this huge picture from our wedding that I really want to hang up as well. But it's been really hard finding a frame that fits the size of the picture. But I need to do that because I'm very scared that the picture gets destroyed. So now I have three frames that I need to order. So a little bit of a progress report. We did the linen closet, the bookshelf, and the bedrooms. The clothes will be put away when we're watching TV tonight. Now we have stackle of food, but I'm losing steam. I did the beans. I'm going to do the yogurt next because it doesn't require much. I don't know if I'm going to do the bread. I'm going to do the meatballs, the wings, and the chicken. All right, so this was the most excruciating part of my day. I hated every second of it. I only made it better by having some YouTube videos while I did this. I cleaned and seasoned chicken. I packaged some of these. They go in the freezer, and that way, whenever I have to cook, I just pull it out and throw it out. This, I'm gonna cook it. It's gonna serve as a snack for the girls, and then I'm also going to stew this as well. And then I'm also going to cook this for tomorrow. This will take me about an hour and then I'll be done for the day. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday. I woke up this morning, had some breakfast, did my workout. Um, I washed my hair, I did my quiet time, so quite a productive morning. This morning was insane. I don't know if I woke up in a bad mood, so my threshold was low, or if the kids were acting um, acting up a bit more than usual I don't know but I just felt like I had it up to here <laughs> and it just reminded me of this phrase that a lady that I follow on Instagram says all the time and it says hard is not the same as bad and I feel like that's something that you have to say so often in motherhood because raising little ones um, toddlers it's hard but hard doesn't mean that it's bad and one of the things that i've learned to do is to seek the lord during those times before i had the tendency like if i was having a really bad day with the kids like my tendency would just be to you know what ibrahim needs to come home so like i could just close myself up in the room and just have 10 minutes to myself and just scroll my phone and that's okay i do think we need an outlet every now and then but i don't think that as moms as christian moms that we should rely on those outward things to bring us joy to bring us peace to bring us satisfaction especially on the hard days but we need to learn to seek god and to ask him for help ask him for guidance ask him for patience so that we can you know be a testimony to our kids in the way that we relate to them but yeah that was my morning <laughs> that was my morning it took a lot out of me you know i always say i could i could probably have one or two kids more like you know but this morning i was like mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> but i'm sure when they're back home this afternoon i'll forget all about it anyway so yesterday was home day um which was good i did a lot Today I have a few 
admin stuff to do like computer stuff so i have a video to film i have two videos i'm filming today i also have some computer work i need to do some applications i need to fill out some forms i need to get done i i'm also hoping to at least spend 30 minutes studying medicine and then that's pretty much my day today so yesterday was you know like hard stuff and today is more like a sit down at the computer chill do some work so let's get today started the girls are at daycare Iran is at work another day to myself tomorrow i'll be keeping them home so let's get the day started <music> discipline started to become an issue I really felt confused Estrita, donde estas? Quiero verte titilar You can clear his name Anything Too late This crackle is way Good morning. It's Wednesday. We started off the day on a much better note this morning. We also did our morning basket and we had breakfast. I made oatmeal. I'm not a huge fan of oatmeal. I wish I were because I think it's very healthy and I would love to be the type of person that eats oatmeal almost every day but I'm not. I mean I can eat it but it's not something that I thoroughly enjoy so it's not something that I do very often. Bella ate some of it. Katie tried a little bit but it was not a hit with the girls. So right now we're gonna go have our showers. I need to wash and comb Bella's hair. And then afterwards, we're gonna get some official school done. This one is number 10. Which one is number 8? 8. I'm fast. Alright, this letter makes a sound. I'm going to chase it with my finger first. I start at the top here and go down. And then I go across. Start at the top. Go down and then I do a cross. What sound does it make? Okay, so first trace it in the trace it on the card and make the sound. Okay, now trace it in the sand. Okay, let's try it again. So how is it like spending the day with the kids? It's it's difficult. It's challenging. Um, like usually, there's a thought that crosses my mind, like I should just send them to school <laughs> because they bicker constantly, they fight with each other constantly. So a lot of the day passes with a lot of interruptions and a lot of teaching and training. Don't hit, don't scream, don't kick, or do this or do that. And sometimes, you know, it's a little bit frustrating and in the back of my mind, I'm like, I should have sent them to school. But then that's the point, no? To do the work of training your kids. So that's why I keep them home. It's a lot easier to send them off to school, let somebody else do the hard work of dealing with the fights and the tantrums. But I really think that keeping them home twice a week, having those two extra days with them allows me to invest in them, teach them, train them. Um, and just spend time with them and girl. spend time with them deep, deepen our relationship because there's good times as well of course, yeah there is good times as well there's lots of good times as well 
we enjoy reading together when Bella does schoolwork she loves that we enjoy doing that as well together sometimes we go on a walk or we go to do like art and craft kind of stuff painting so there's lots of good times and fun they help you with the chores yeah they help with my chores Bella is learning to wash dishes not wash she rinses the dishes and put them in the dish trainer she loves doing that so they help me put clothes in the washing machine they help with chores so it's good but then it also comes with the heart and hard is not the same as bad, right? Yeah. And it's not also for school, right? Because sometimes the kids can be home and then it's easier to just put them in front of the TV or... Yeah, exactly. I mean, I could keep them home and have the TV babysit them, but then that doesn't accomplish um, the purpose for which I keep them home, which is twofold, threefold actually. One, I really do want to participate in the education so I enjoy being part of teaching Bella her numbers and her letters and that kind of thing. Two, I want to train them up in the Lord. So yes, the teachers may be doing a good job teaching them to obey and whatnot, but I also want to ensure that there is um, a biblical as aspect to it. So I teach them, you know, like Bible verses and all of those things. And then three, I really want to ensure that we get time to spend together, that a relationship is being built and a connection is being built. So. Mm, yeah, that's important. Yes. So they're napping. We're going to enjoy some time together. That's another thing too, um, why we try to ensure that they get naps, because sometimes I work at night, sometimes Ibrahim works at night. So little pockets throughout the day really helps us connect. So in a time like this, where they're both sleeping, Ibrahim and I will use that as an opportunity for us to spend time together or, or to nap for, you know, work later, etc, etc. So it's important for, for them to get good sleep training because it's important for our lives as well. I came off from work at 8 this morning we prepared the girls and now we're headed down south we have a church fun spot today the activity is supposed to start at 9 30 and it's minutes to 11 and we're just heading down and it's about an hour away so either they started late and we're fine or we probably missed like half of the activity but that's okay I'm looking forward I think if the parent race hasn't passed yet i'll probably participate because it's been so long since i've actually run which fyi i used to run back in high school pretty competitively so <laughs> it'll be kind of fun to see if i still got it so let's see let's head down um hopefully it'll be a fun day back home today was fun reminded me that i'm no younger spring chicken <laughs> my yeah, leg hurts my leg hurts the what the what yeah, I came. I came second in the in the adult one hundred. She was young. She was young. But it was fun. The girls had fun. But now we're back home, getting ready for um, work tomorrow. I'm doing a day shift tomorrow, so. It was in the movie. Yeah, so we're gonna take a shower and then we're gonna come cuddle on the couch and watch a movie. 
So that like it. It. that's it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Oh, you want to show them something? Okay, Ella wants to show you guys how she matched everything that was number three. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Yeah, what was that? Two. Yeah, that's two. So should you match it with number three? No. One. And two. And yeah. three. Good job. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Bye bye. See you in the bye next bye. one. Say bye. Bye bye. bye. See you. See bye you. bye. I want to see.